This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. It's been 10 days since the whistleblower website WikiLeaks published the massive archive of classified military records about the war in Afghanistan, the largest leak in U.S. history, with some, oh, more than 91,000 documents released. But the fallout in Washington and beyond is far from over. Justice Department lawyers are reportedly exploring whether WikiLeaks and its founder, Julian Assange, could be charged with violating the Espionage Act of 1917 for publishing classified Afghan war documents. On Thursday, authorities at Newark Liberty International Airport detained and questioned a 27-year-old WikiLeaks volunteer named Jacob Applebaum. He was questioned for three hours, had his laptop computer and three cell phones seized. Applebaum's a U.S. citizen who was arriving at Newark after an international flight. Meanwhile, investigators in the Army's criminal division have reportedly questioned two students in Boston about their ties to WikiLeaks. And Private First Class Bradley Manning, a leading suspect in the leak, Adrian Lamo, the hacker who turned Manning in, says two students at MIT have admitted to him that they assisted Manning in downloading and distributing the leaked documents. At a news conference in the Pentagon last week, Defense Secretary Robert Gates denounced the leaking of the documents. The battlefield consequences of the release of these documents are potentially severe and dangerous for our troops, our allies and Afghan partners and may well damage our relationships and reputation in that key part of the world. Intelligence sources and methods, as well as military tactics, techniques, and procedures will become known to our adversaries. This department is conducting a thorough, aggressive investigation to determine how this leak occurred, to identify the person or persons responsible, and to assess the content of the information compromised. Speaking at the same news conference, Admiral Mike Mullen, the chair of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, accused WikiLeaks of having blood on its hands. Mr. Assange can say whatever he likes about the greater good he thinks he and his source are doing. But the truth is, they might already have on their hands the blood of some young soldier or that of an Afghan family. Disagree with the war all you want. Take issue with the policy. Challenge me or our ground commanders on the decisions we make to accomplish the mission we've been given. But don't put those who willingly go into harm's way even further in harm's way just to satisfy your need to make a point. That was the chair of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, Mike Mullen. We're joined on the phone now from Britain by Julian Assange, the editor-in-chief of WikiLeaks. Why don't you start off by responding to this charge, that you have blood on your hands, Julian? Well, you've got to be careful, Amy. Uh, Mullen actually was quite crafty in his words. He said, might already uh, have blood on my hands, but the media has gone and uh, turned that into a concrete uh, definition. Um, there is, as far as we can tell, no incident of that, so it is a speculative uh, charge. Of course, um, we are treating any possible revelation of uh, the names of innocent seriously. Uh, that is why we uh, held back 15,000 of these documents uh, to, to review that. Now, some names may have crept in uh, to others, um, and, and uh, maybe, uh, unfortunately, may not be. But you must understand that we contacted uh, the White House about that issue and asked for their uh, assistance in vetting uh, uh, to see if, whether there would be an exposure of innocence um, and to identify those names accordingly. Of course, uh, we would never accept any other kind of, of, of veto, but in relation to, to that matter, uh, we, we requested their assistance um, via uh, the New York Times, who the four media partners uh, involved us, the Spiegel, the Guardian, uh, and the Times. Uh, agreed would be the conduit to the White House so we wouldn't step on each other's toes. Now, uh, the White House issued a flat denial uh, that that had uh, ever happened. And uh, uh, we see, however, that in an interview with CBS News, Eric Schmidt, uh, who was our uh, contact uh, for that, um, uh, quoted from the email uh, that, that uh, I had relayed to the White House. Uh, and that quote is precisely what I uh, had been saying all along and, and uh, completely contradicts the White House statement. 
Um, Julian Assange, you're correct that even when Admiral Mike Mullen was on uh, Meet the Press this week and was challenged about the statement about blood on the hands that he said could, you're right, or might. Um, but he also pointed out, as Newsweek did, they said that the Taliban has begun to threaten Afghans listed in the document as aiding American troops. Uh, what is your response to that? Well, we have to be careful again. Um, I reviewed uh, the statement of someone that a London paper uh, claimed uh, to be speaking for some part of the Taliban. Remember, the Taliban is actually not a homogenous uh, group. Uh, and the statement, um, as far as such things go, was fairly reasonable, uh, which is that they would not uh, trust these documents. They would use their own um, uh, intelligence organizations investigations to understand whether those people uh, were um, uh, defectors or collaborators, and uh, if so, they, after our investigation, then um, they would receive appropriate punishment. Now, of course, that is, you know, that, that sort of image is disturbing, but uh, that is what uh, happens in war, that um, spies or, or, or traitors are, are investigated. Now, these statements are altogether uh, designed to distract from the from the big picture, and it's, it's really quite fantastic that Gates and Mullins, um, Gates being the former head of the CIA during Iran-Contra uh, and the overseer of Iraq uh, and Afghanistan, and Mullins being the, the, the military um, uh, commander uh, for Iraq and Afghanistan, I'm not sure what his, what his further background is, um, who have ordered assassinations every day, uh, are trying to bring people on board to look at uh, a speculative understanding of whether uh, we um, might have blood on their hands. These two men um, arguably are, are wading uh, in the blood from those wars. Uh, according to the statistics uh, we pulled out of um, the Afghan war diary, uh, those reports coming six years, uh, we see uh, in, the, uh, in the internal reporting itself, uh, just for the regular U.S. Army and, and not for the top secret operations, uh, that 20,000 people uh, have been killed. Um, and similarly, we know from Iraq uh, body count that there's uh, 108,000 people uh, where there's media reports and, and other evidence to show that have died in, in Iraq. The, the hypocrisy in these statements is extraordinary. Julian, Mark Thiessen, the former chief speechwriter for President George W. Bush and a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, wrote a column in Tuesday's Washington Post calling WikiLeaks a criminal enterprise. He went on to write, and let me quote, Assange is a non-U.S. citizen operating outside the territory of the United States. This means the government has a wide range of options for dealing with him. It can employ not only law enforcement, but also intelligence and military assets to bring Assange to justice and put his criminal syndicate out of business. The first step is for the Justice Department to indict Assange. Again, these are the words of Mark Thiessen, who is the former speechwriter for George W. Bush writing in Washington Post. Yeah, extraordinary. Um, so I see we should guess what uh, perhaps would have happened to this uh, organization under Bush. Um, but we should have some concerns in that um, Obama uh, has authorized the assassination of U.S. citizens um, overseas. And uh, what will happen? Will, will, will that be — will cease and statement lead into that sort of behavior. It appears that this administration uh, is not above above that. Um, I see see this a bit of a, as a floating balloon that the season has has put up. Of course, he is is no doubt doing it in order to show um, that he's the, the vanguard of that uh, school of, of thought. Um, and it will be seen whether that balloon gets shot down or not uh, by the American people. And if it doesn't get shot down um, by, by criticism, uh, then it will be assumed that that behavior is in some, some way uh, acceptable. Now, in Europe, it's another matter. I mean, what Thiessen is saying is that uh, U.S. forces would enter European territory um, without uh, illegally and conduct an illegal act uh, like they uh, did in Italy, uh, kidnapping 
I mean, I'll, I'll say it, but it's disturbing to me just to see these references uh, to deal with journalists 